No, follow me. Just one second. Now. Run! Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Run! Run, 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 run! What's going on? My ex-wife, Tammy, is back. Yeah, I saw her in the courtyard. No, my other ex-wife, Tammy. <gasps> Tammy won. I have accrued 228 personal days. Starting right now, I'm using all of them. <laughs> While I'm gone, you're in charge. Ah! Also, I keep a sizable supply of ground chuck in my desk. Remove it or it will begin to smell. Godspeed. Move it! Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, this is one of my greatest brainstorms ever. A community garden, right in the middle of the pit. We're encouraging people to just come out and plant whatever they want. And Tom and I sometimes get here early and help out. So hot. I had to get some more iced tea. People have just really embraced this and planted the coolest stuff. And Tom is our master horticulturist. He knows all the scientific names for everything, right, Tom? Yep. Like this? What's this, Tom? Um, those are, of course, tomatoes or soldier boy tellums. Whenever Leslie asks me for the Latin names of any of our plants, I just give her the names of rappers. And those over there? Uh, those are some ditties. Got some uh, bone thugs and harmoniums right here. Growing beautifully. Those ludicruses are coming in great. Look, someone planted something new. What's this? What do you think, carrots? If that's true, we have a garden pest on our hands. <laughs> Maybe some kind of spice? Yeah, you know, Leslie, the best way to figure out what kind of spice that is, is roll it up into a joint and smoke it. Whale tail, whale tail. She's flashing a whale tail, abort, abort, abort. Hello, Tammy. Oh, hello, Ron. I didn't see you come in. I was just checking myself for scoliosis. And? Straight as an arrow. Just like somebody else I know. Jerky? Call off the dogs. You and I both know that in my entire adult life, I have never checked a book out of the library. Oh my god, she's amazing. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> mm. I admit there was a time when that sort of behavior would have driven me wild. But I am in a healthy relationship now, Tammy. A relationship? With whom? A lovely, intelligent, self-possessed pediatric surgeon named Wendy. Sounds like a real whore. Clear the late charges and cut the crap. Good day. Good day, Leslie. Good... Good day. Hey, Ben, just a few things to remind you of home, love, Leslie. Ah, waffle mix. JJ's diner mug, new pajamas. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Box one of 12? April, here's something to help you remember our three-legged dog champion. Ah, oh, that's cute. Also, you are way better at laundry. Can you please do mine and send it back to me? Thanks, love you, mouse rat rules, love Andy. Less cute. P.S. Please hurry, I've been wearing a bandana as underwear for three days now. Look, there's a picture. Ah, that's horrifying. I love him so much. Oh, this is like a waking nightmare of happiness. Um, I need to get some flowers. Uh, why don't you hold this colorful bouquet of highlighters? Rice, I need to find some rice. I need to throw some rice. Why is there no rice in this municipal government building? I found a justice guy. These are the marrying people. This is Carl. Hello, Carl. My fiance and I would like to get married right now, right here. Haven't I done a quickie wedding for you before? It's certainly possible, but this one's going to stick. I need your full names for the license. Ronald Ulysses Swanson. Diane Tammy Lewis. Tammy? Your middle Just name Just kidding, it's Elizabeth. Let's go, Carl. Hey, hey, let's pump the brakes, Carl, OK? Belay that order, Carl. Shortest possible ceremony. I'm tired of not being married to this woman. Do you, Ron Swanson, Who take Diane gonna start? to be your wife? Who is I happening? certainly do. Oh, my God. And do you, Diane, yes. take Yes, I do. Her? She said yes. OK. <sighs> Wait. The power vested in me? Before you, Carl, just one second. I would just like to give a short speech, if I may. You have 10 seconds. <sighs> At first glance, it may seem as though Ron Swanson and I have nothing in common. But Webster's Dictionary defines friend. Time. Uh... Thank you, Leslie. I could tell where you were going with that, and it was going to be beautiful. I now pronounce oh. you man and wife. Hooray! Yay! Great job, everyone. <laughs> the reception will be held in each of our individual houses alone. Pretend That was beautiful. Mike, what? <laughs> it's pretty great having Andy working in the building. The guy is so much fun. His new thing, 
piggyback rides anytime you want. Piggyback, piggyback, move! Piggyback, bam! Piggyback, bam! Mark Brandangowitz! <laughs> giddy up, giddy up! <laughs> oh, Councilman Hauser, hello. Hello. Did you get my proposal for the uh, possible rezoning of Lot 48? I uh, have been busy. I know, but I, I think it would be a really great thing for the neighborhood. I don't doubt it, but it's really a question of resource allocation. And I completely understand that, but you and I both know that if we want to find the money, we can. I'm running late. Oh, I'll walk with you. See, the thing is, when we allocate money for parks... Oh, babe, you've gone crazy. The only thing I am crazy about is a magnificent pregnant manta ray named Ann Perkins. I am ranking topics of conversation for our next phone call. The worst part about your best friend living in another stupid state is the topics really pile up. What do you think should be higher priority? Infinity scarves or whether or not it's worth it for me to get showtime? Is this really necessary? When she moved, we promised each other that we would talk every day, and we've really fallen behind. I know your female friends are very important to you, but I mean, I'm always a good sounding Board. I mean, I can talk about uh, Sandra Bullock's skirt length. No, no, babe, you can't. You would just embarrass yourself. Plus, every time I start talking to you five seconds later, I want to jump your bones. Oh, let's do that instead. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, okay, let's yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, Ron, enough's enough. Let's talk plans for Diane's baby shower. Dear God, woman. Three main activities, baby bingo, baby food tasting, and my personal favorite, baby onesie decorating station. I'm gonna make mine look like an astronaut. What are you doing up there in space, baby? Oh, so cute. Okay, I have some gift ideas. I was looking at a very adorable stroller. We already have a stroller. Oh, shoot, really? I'm gonna have to think of something else. <gasps> oh my God, whose baby is that? That would be mine. Guys, get in here! Ron has a baby! Oh, Ron, cool baby. Thank you, Andrew. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to my son, John, middle name redacted, Swanson. John was born some time ago, weighing multiple pounds and several ounces. Much like his father, he is a fan of silence. Please keep your voices down. How am I supposed to keep my voice down when you had your baby? And you didn't tell me that you had your baby! Why would you need to know something like that? Why would I? Oh, my God. I have not even sent Diane a gift. She's just walking around, wondering why I haven't sent her a gift yet. Should we do something? Just let her tire herself out. If you need anything from us, Ron, please just let us know. Actually, there is something. Could one of you please stop by the pet store and pick up some fish food for me? When did you get a fish? Are you ready? Yes. No, babe. Are you ready? Yes? I got fired from running the Sweetums Foundation. Thanks to me. Sorry again. Hey, blessing in disguise. I took a job at this accounting firm. They've tried to hire me three times. I finally gave in. But I've had a week off in between jobs, and I've been cooking up something pretty big. The last time he was in between jobs, he got deep into claymation. So this should be different, hopefully. Presenting the Cones of Dunshire, a brand new gaming experience. Eight to 12 players, two wizards, a maverick, the arbiter, two warriors, a corporal, and a ledgerman. Now, the ledgerman just keeps score, and he wears this hat. Oh, boy. Now, the object is to accumulate cones. Four cones wins, but in order to get a cone, you have to build a civilization. The other amazing thing is the challenge play. Actually, let me tell you more about the trivia cards, because you're going to need to know about roadblocks first. No, never mind. The thing about the challenge play is that it's basically the game in reverse. Then you roll three dice to see how many dice you roll with. Oh, 16, perfect, lots of choices. Okay, each turn goes roll, buy, action. I mean, obviously this would be much taller in the real game. But the corporal can veto. This should be green too, how did this happen? Are the cones a metaphor? Well, yes and no. What, what, what is this called again? The cones of Dunshire. Oh my God, the Maverick should be able to trade lumber for agriculture credits. How have I not thought of this before? This is nothing, right? Um, when do you go back to work again? Tomorrow. It's fine. I'll just throw this in the garbage.